G'day superstars, have you ever wanted to make your video look like film like this? If that is true, then this is the tutorial for you. It's a beginner's guide. You can do everything in DaVinci Resolve without having to use any plugins whatsoever. So let's get straight into the video. Okay, we're in DaVinci now. I just wanna point out that this is a beginner's tutorial. I know there is more complicated ways of doing this, but I just wanna show people how to get started when it comes to making a film look kind of video. And this footage here is some stock footage that I got off the internet which was free. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna change some settings in DaVinci Resolve so your DaVinci is set up color-wise correctly. So we're gonna go up to File, go down to Project Settings, click on that. Then we're gonna click on Color Management here and you wanna change your color science, go up to DaVinci where it says DaVinci YRGB and change that to DaVinci Color Managed. Make sure your color processing is set to SDR and your output color space is set to SDR Rec.709. Rec 709 is the standard format for color correction in most television shows and uh, movies and so on. And click save. Because we've set up the timeline that way, your footage should automatically, when you go into the color tab, should automatically be corrected to the correct color space, which is the Rec 709 color space. But if it's not, you can click on the raw tab here and you'll see, if it is, it'll say what the color is, what the camera is and so on. In this case, it doesn't show me what footage that is. So if you know what you shot your footage on, I know this was shot on the Sony. So the way to fix that is you go up to clips up the top here, right click on your footage, right click here and go input color space. I'll scroll down to Sony and go S-Log. You go back to your color tab, that's the correct color of your footage. If you're liking the content so far, please hit like and subscribe and ring that notification bell so you're notified of any videos that I do in the future. I really appreciate it and let's get back to the tutorial. Okay, now that the color is correct in this footage, as close as we're gonna get it anyway in this particular footage, because I didn't shoot it myself. If I shot it myself, I would have had more control over the DaVinci correcting it for me, but this is the footage we've got. It looks much nicer than it did a minute ago, and now we're gonna go and try and make it look a bit like film. Now the next step is just something I do. I'm not a colorist. I'm not a person who color grades for a living. This is just what I do to make things look a bit nicer for me. So I'm gonna go up to the left here, where it says gallery, and you click on LUTs. And on the LUTs, you want to scroll down to Film Looks. Now in Film Looks, you've got Rec 709, which is, it starts here and goes all the way to the bottom here. They're the only ones you want to play with when it comes to creating this film look. If you hold your mouse on the left-hand side here, it'll show you what it looks like. And they're all going to be quite drastic. We're going to adjust them afterwards, so don't panic. But as you scroll through your footage, you can see what it looks like just by moving the mouse across that particular LUT. So the footage looks like this normally. If you like that normal footage, that's great. But if you want to go for a film look, we're going to play with it a little bit here. So, is that one. This first one's a bit warm. I don't like that one. It's a bit too warm. It's getting closer. It's a bit warm at 55. Probably go with 60, oh, maybe 60 on this one. So we're gonna click on 65 here. I'm gonna drag it across. We're gonna have a look and see what it looks like. So it's pretty harsh. First thing I'm gonna do is gonna go down to this window down the bottom here, and we're gonna bring that harshness down. The background I wasn't concerned about, it's blown the background out in this one, although it was originally blown out quite a bit in the original footage. I'm gonna go down to the gain wheel, and I'm gonna mess with that. So I'm gonna bring it right down so her face is actually <laughs> close to being not blown out. And then I'm gonna bring the shadows up a little bit to bring that detail back in. And then I'm gonna move the saturation to the left a little bit just to pull a bit of that color out, just a little bit. Now the gain wheel, you can see is your, is your highlights basically. And the lift wheel is your contrast. So you can bring your contrast less or you can make it more, it's up to you. But let's just put it there for this one. And then the offset wheel adjusts everything. So bring the offset to the left, it's gonna bring the whole lot down. Bring it up to the right, it's gonna bring the whole lot up. I wanna bring that whole lot down a little bit to about here. I'm gonna mess with those shadows a bit more. We press play, this is what we end up with. And to me, that looks quite cinematic. Go back to the edit tab and we can see a clear difference. Let's scroll to the start, for instance, here. 
and that's the difference between the two right there. <laughs> and as I said, this is for beginners only. There is much more complicated ways of doing this using nodes and so on, but I was trying to avoid using nodes to make it as simple as I possibly could for a beginner to get something out of their footage. Now that your film looks like film, you may want to add some text effects. There's a great video here to do that, and I'll see you in the next video, and thank you for watching.